And now I can start to work on this area and build up some of the darks and light tones from the archway. The archway is very dark in here, that's the darkest dark. And I'll use the darkest cool colour I've got, which is the blue. And it's very close to the paper, in fact it's darker than the paper tone. I'll just rub that in slightly to give the impact. There's another very dark archway that comes in here and I'll just put that in. Lovely strong rich colour which will come through into here and fall right down to there. That's better. Then shaping up this arch with the softer brown. And getting the shape in of this arch at the front. Just showing the inside of that a little. And when you're looking at these places, of course, sitting in the actual square, the buildings are quite ornate in places and it would be very tempting to get involved in great detail. But this method I find is great for just capturing the scene very quickly and not getting too involved by the detail. And if you back it up with photographs, then of course you can work as detailed as you like later on. So that shaped up this side of the arch a little bit better. I can tidy it up later and we'll just strengthen that up with... What I'm doing by strengthening it is giving that a little rub. I've just knitted the colours together which completely block out the dark paper which means I get a solid block of light in there. So some mid-tone now with the burnt umber, or the raw umber I should say, just to get the shapes and starting to maybe build up on some of these little dots and dashes of people, a bit of a crowd scene there. And any suggestion like that which has the basic shape of figures, if I just finish them off with a little bit of a dash like that. That will indicate some shadow. And I'll use my darker brown now just to build a few more up here before bringing a slightly sort of larger hint of figure forward a little bit. Right, that's beginning to give me the feeling of a little busy bustling going on in that corner. And as I move across to here, I can start to look at some of the some of the shapes of the doorways, little arch doorways, not the whole windows, etc. Not every single window. I've got quite a lot of windows in these buildings that uh, would obviously detract from the main scene. So a little hint like that, just here and there, to position how these buildings might look.